Hey there, let's play Wordle number 520. The answer to yesterday's country was Uruguay. Uruguay is a country in South America bordered by Brazil and Argentina. It has a very complicated history of indigenous and colonial occupation, beginning with hunter-gatherers who inhabited the area at least 13,000 years ago. The Portuguese first arrived in the area in 1512, followed by the Spanish in 1516. Because of its lack of gold or silver, it was late to be colonized compared to neighboring regions. The area was in contention between the Spanish and Portuguese for several centuries. Montevideo, the country's modern capital, was founded by the Spanish in the early 18th century. Struggles for independence began in 1811. In 1816, the country was invaded and annexed by the Portuguese Kingdom of Brazil. Uruguay finally became an independent sovereign nation in 1825 with the support of what is now Argentina. August 25th, 1825 is celebrated as the nation's Independence Day, and the first constitution was adopted in 1830. The country continued to experience political instability throughout the 19th and early 20th centuries. In 1973, a coup d'etat established an oppressive and persecutory civic military di dictatorship. In 1985, the military relinquished power to a civilian government. Today, Uruguay is ranked first in Latin America in measures of democracy, peace, low perception of corruption, and also places very well on measures of low terrorism, places highly on the Human Development Index, GDP growth, innovation, and infrastructure. It is also regarded as one of the most socially progressive countries in Latin America, ranking high on measures of personal rights, tolerance, and inclusion, including acceptance of the LGBTQ community. Cannabis, same-sex marriage, prostitution, and abortion are all legal in Uruguay. Additionally, Uruguay has no official religion, and religious freedom is guaranteed. It is ranked 19th of 180 countries in worldwide freedom of press. Freedom of speech and media are guaranteed as well by the Constitution. Soccer is the most popular sport in Uruguay. The official language is Spanish, although some Portuguese is also spoken in regions bordering Brazil. The origin of the country's name is unclear. It derives from the Rio Uruguay, a river whose name comes from the indigenous Guarani language. It may mean bird river or refer to a river snail called Uruguay. Culturally, an interpretation by Uruguayan poet Juan Zorilla de, de San Martín, the river of painted birds, is the most popular. Thus, viewer Bilal suggests the starting word of birds for today's wordle. Who doesn't like birds? Birds are great. Birds are awesome. We get an I. Actually, I is good. I is like one of those vowels that's like, well, there's only certain places it can go in a word. And there's no R or S. That's good to know as well. How about like AI something maybe? Like plane. Hey, why not? Let's try plane. Well, there is an A. <laughs> okay. So something like this is my thought. Could end in I see. Panic! <laughs> Can't be panic or manic. Could also I A I. La, la, la. <laughs> Could end in I A. Oh no, I isn't fourth. Oh wait. Okay, so maybe like this. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Could also maybe start with A and be something like that. Huh, I have no idea. Okay, let's try. Ooh, magic. Oh no, I. I isn't fourth. Ah, I was so excited. Magic. Uh, it could be something like, like maze or something even. Is that worth a try? Seems very, very silly to use a Z this early in the... I'm gonna do it. Whoa. Okay, unexpected result. So, it could be... Could it end in I-A-M? That doesn't seem likely, does it? I mean, I still have O-U and Y. I'm not out of amity? I thought I had it for a second there. Okay, what is this word? I'm so confused. Axiom? Axiom fits. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I took a risk using Z. I should have used X. <laughs> Alright, All right. well, thank you for the suggestion, Bill. Feel free, anyone watching, to leave a suggestion here or in today's country video, which is linked in the description below, with a suggestion for a starting word for tomorrow based on today's country answer. And I will see you then for some more Wordle.